Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I almost didn't film this video. I just got back from Lidl and I did a grocery shop and I almost didn't film it because I felt like I didn't have like a ton of stuff. But what's crazy is I went in, did a small shop and I still spent over $75. A year ago, two years ago, I probably would have spent around $50 and I was thinking it might be worthwhile to share this haul anyways because it just goes to show you how inflation is impacting things. A lot of us are struggling right now. Like I rare, like I feel like the last couple times I've been grocery shopping, I've gone in with a budget like in my head, a, a ballpark of what I'm going to spend. And I end up spending more than that. Like today, I really thought I can probably go in, spend around $50, spent $78. So I just wanted to share that with you all because I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Maybe you're struggling with the same thing. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or comments you'd like to share on the topic of inflation that are helping you guys, or maybe you can't really find anything to help you, feel free to comment below. Let me know how you're feeling about things. Um with that. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Brittany and on my channel, I do grocery hauls and cooking videos. So if those are things you like, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and join my YouTube family. Also, if you're not familiar with Lidl, it's basically like a better version of Aldi. And for you Aldi lovers out there, I know you're like, how can it get better than Aldi? Trust me, it can. Lidl is so amazing. It's basically a bigger version of Aldi with a bigger variety of brands. They have their own name brand stuff, but then not name brand, but they have their own store brand. And then they also have some name brand products. So I love it. I love Aldi too, but I always say I'm a Lidl girl now because it's really just been life changing. So maybe if you guys wanna take a look, you can research online what Lidl is. I think they're only on the East Coast right now. So I know a lot of my friends in Jersey, they have Lidl's popping up. So. Hopefully one day a Lidl will pop up near you because it truly is the best. So with that, let me go ahead and show you my very, very small grocery haul. So I literally have one counterful and that's it. Cause normally in these hauls, I feel like I have a couple counterfuls. We're working with one counterful today. And again, $78, crazy. So starting with some dairy and meat, I got some whipped cream. I picked up some chicken thighs and some pork chops. The uh, chicken thighs were around $8. The pork chops were around $4. I also picked up some guacamole cups, some sour cream, some Texas toast, and then I picked up some honey ham for sandwiches. I've talked about this before in my hauls. They carry this brand at Aldi and Lidl. It's one of my favorite brands. Now, <laughs> shredded cheese. This was actually pretty interesting. When I was there, I swore that the bags were smaller than the last time I was there. And so to compare, I pulled out an old bag of cheese that's almost finished, but if you can see the size comparison, let me just do this. It is definitely a little smaller, which I thought was interesting. Now let's check the ounces. Yup, eight ounces. Can you see it? Eight ounces versus 12 ounces. Now, I don't know if they have bigger bags still that just weren't in stock, but my gut is telling me this is an inflation cut and that they're saying they're selling um, the cheese in smaller portions for the same amount of money. That's my gut, but uh, I just wanted to point that out to y'all. So I got some cheddar and some Colby Jack. Picked up some milk, some bananas, some yogurt. I feel like I'm buying Greek yogurt pretty much. Every time I go grocery shopping now, I'm like on a yogurt kick. I got some romaine for salad, some asparagus, a cucumber. I picked up a bunch of veggies because we're gonna do the chicken thighs with some veggies on a sheet pan tonight for dinner just to make things really easy. So I picked up a squash, zucchini, bell peppers, some tomatoes and then also some strawberries and then I picked up my favorite bread um this is the Dave's killer bread haven't had this in a while actually so I'm excited to have this again but this is great for toast like avocado toast sandwiches it's so delicious and then I also picked up the Dave's killer bread English muffins I've had these before and I like them they're pretty good and then I also picked up some hot dog buns because we have some hot dogs in the fridge that we need to use up and I figured that would be a really easy dinner this week. 
The only other items that weren't accounted for on the counter was um, these seltzer waters and then this paper towel. I did want to mention this paper towel because this paper towel is so good. And it actually says like on the side compared to Bounty. I would say it's exactly the same as Bounty if not better. And I've been buying the Walmart paper towel recently just because I haven't been in Toledo in a while. And I've been missing this paper towel a lot. Honestly, I probably should have picked up two of these um, because that's how good they are. But I was talking in my recent BJ's haul about how I used to get paper towel from BJ's and I don't anymore because the Lidl paper towel is so good and it's so much cheaper. I'll link that video here if you guys haven't checked it out yet so you can watch that. But highly recommend if you have a Lidl near you, you must pick up their paper towel. It is so good. I thought I would quickly show you the prices of the items that I picked up um, just so you can get an idea. I did have some savings in my app, so I was able to save a little bit of money, which was nice. So you'll see the Dave's Bread was $5.99. The strawberries were on sale for, I think it, yeah, it was $1.59. Pork chops were $4.14. Chicken thighs, $7.73. New York toast was $2.42. The ham was $5.65. The Chobani yogurt was $5.34. Milk was $1.20. Um, sharp cheddar cheese was $1.98. Same for the Colby Jack. Sour cream was $2.18. The mini guacamole cups were $2.65. Whipped cream, $2.98. Sparkling water, $3.19. The yellow squash was $1.02. Zucchini, $0.90. Cents. The romaine, $3.48. Tomatoes, $2.29. The cucumber was $1.49. The bell peppers were $3.52, bananas $0.58, cents, asparagus $2.99, hot dog buns were $0.89, cents, and then the Dave's English muffins were $4.59, and then the paper towel was $8.75. Really good price for that paper towel. So it was $78.64 with tax, which to be honest, it's not terrible, right? Like, I feel like Lidl is very comparable to Aldi on prices, but it just seemed like not that much stuff for still like a decent amount of money. I guess really it's just in my head I'm comparing that what I got today I would have spent way less like a year or two ago. So that was my haul. Again, it was definitely on the smaller side. I had stocked up at Walmart a couple weeks ago and Trader Joe's. So we're really good. Like I have a lot of stuff in the freezer that we're gonna be using up. And I think my mindset just going into the grocery store is I'm definitely gonna be shopping my stash. I'm gonna be like, cooking out of my pantry, planning recipes based on what's in my pantry. So I did recently do like a shelf cooking video. I'll link that here too if you want to like get an idea of how I do my shelf cooking. But I might do some more pantry cooking like how I'm preparing to go grocery shopping videos in the future if you'd be interested in that. Just like thinking about how we can be more efficient and resourceful with what we have on hand to save money. Drop a comment below. Let me know if that would be something that you guys are interested in. And if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, I would love if you could give this video a like and a thumbs up. Well, you know, it's the same thing, but it really helps my channel out so much and helps other people find my channel. And thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video, even though I know it was a smaller haul. So thanks again. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.